Today I thought I would give you an update of how I'm getting on with surveys and market research as an income stream. Uh, I update this every so often and I don't think I've done one since the spring, I'm not too sure. So I thought I would do an update for you. If you're looking for ways to just earn a little bit of extra money just to top up your income, it maybe you just need to tip the balance. I don't know, £50 a month or something like that, and it just gets you out of a hole. This is a really good way to to do this if you have internet, if you have a, a laptop, if you have a smartphone, you can download apps. Some of the websites that I use, they have web actual websites and apps. Some of them are just apps. And there are one or two that... I really like to use but can't use anymore because um, the apps aren't compatible with my phone model which is one of the reasons I need to update my my phone really and um, upgrade it my phone I've had for four years but um, the software dates back a bit further than that because I bought it when it wasn't a new like the newest model so there are a few sites that I'm going to have to wait before I can use again. It's a shame because they were really good ones. Sites pay out in different ways. Some of them you have to accrue a certain amount of money before you can cash out. And that might be, so the highest ones will ask you to cash out at uh, £50. But you might, if you're lucky, be able to cash out a couple of times a year. Others will cash out at, say, £5 or £4. Some of them will cash out per survey. And it's just a case of finding which sites you want to use. I do a range. I don't mind playing the long game. So there are certain sites. Um, I have several which I have to wait until I reach £50. There's one that uh, I, have, I cash out at 10 one that I cash out at 20 And I don't mind. I just do the surveys when they come in. And then at some point... I suddenly realise that I can cash out. And it depends on how many surveys you're sent. It also depends on how many you're eligible for. I'm not that eligible for uh, surveys because I don't do a lot of spending. I don't have a mortgage. I don't have an electric car or have any intention of getting one. I don't have a smart meter. So a lot of surveys are geared around certain aspects of what's going on in the world. Um, so yeah, there's a real fixation on green energy at the moment, a lot of fixation on politics. So there are certain surveys which I just get screened out of. So my survey income this year is less than last year. So last year I made £2,000. This year, so far, I've made £1,400. Um, I'm not going to hit that 2000 and there's a reason for that so as I said one or two of the survey sites that I really like to use are all good payers I can't use on the apps anymore and they're, they're ones that didn't have websites um, I'm also being a bit more picky about which surveys I do so I'm looking for higher money ratios to time spent ratios so I'm there's a lot of surveys that I'm just not doing because I don't want to spend my time on them and that's in part because now I have more of the cleaning jobs my time is elsewhere so what I've started to do now with the surveys instead of like dipping in throughout the day where I used to I will save and do all my surveys in the evening after dinner when I'm sat in front of the TV not doing very much else and I will just sit and I will go through all the survey sites and just keep doing surveys and just earn the income from that. As I've mentioned before in recent posts I also have two survey sites which pay in Sainsbury's Nectar Points and I've included those before I will detail that information there and these are a really good way to earn Nectar Points that you can then spend in Sainsbury's on food and household things that you need like cleaning products etc um, I've got lots of points stacked up on my Sainsbury's card I keep that as an emergency stash and still do my yellow sticker hauls at Morrison's but if I find that there's something I need and I can't get it on a discount or it never comes up for a discount then I will go to Sainsbury's and I will basically buy it for free you can cash out nectar points in £2.50 increments and the most I've spent in one go is £20. 
but it means that it keeps my food bill and my household necessities bill really low and that's why my food bills are coming in at between 20 and 30 pounds a month at the moment because I I stash up that I don't blow it all on whatever and I know that Nectar has partners so you can get air miles from it you can shop in Argos so that sort of thing I don't do any of that I just use it for what I need because you know food and household is an essential so I'm going to do a run through of the sites that I use I have a graph which I will show you here now which shows how much things are paying out and I will include at the side um, when that graph has gone I will list the names of the sites as I talk about them because um, then you can go and you can look for the websites as I say some have websites and they have um, apps so you can go and see what you can find and see what works for you so my biggest payer so far this year is obviously the market research and um, that's paid out £315 so far this year. The reason for that is not that I get lots of them, because I don't, but for what you do, you get paid a lot more money. So you might do a one-to-one -one interview on Zoom. It might be filling in a remote survey in real time that takes an hour. But you can get paid anything from £15 for doing a... Um, an in-store search so there was a website that I uh, an app that I used to use a lot called bulb share it's one of the ones that I can't use anymore because it doesn't work on my phone model but you used to get 15 pounds for going into um, whatever store was local to you and they checked to make sure you had it and then you would go in and you would search for certain products and you would take pictures of the shelves and do quick videos an upload talking about products and what was there and what you thought about them and things like that and they were really good I didn't get that many of them because some of the stores weren't local to me um, but they put in by postcode and then, and then they find the stores for you so some of the sites that I have done market research on this year include Podengo you've got people for research as I say bulb share if you've got the right phone Ipsos um, I say pays that sometimes comes up with market research normally they're a survey site but sometimes they'll offer you bigger projects um, as I say yeah um, your say pays um, I had a 50 pound voucher from them in May for a survey that I did um, and make research pay it depends on what comes up I've noticed a downtick in market research survey offers this year and I've noticed a general decline in surveys overall, which is why I think in part because my money's down. And I would imagine a lot of that is because companies are not paying for marketing research. They're not paying to find out what products work, what consumers are interested in, because they just don't have the money. So back to the graph. So my highest payer for surveys is currently e-rewards. Uh, and, and all these amounts are based over the course of the year so you might get a month where it does really well you might get a month where it's not so great or you don't get anything at all but e-rewards is one of the Sainsbury's Nectar Points um, sites they are paying pretty well so what have I had this year from e-rewards let me have a look so e-rewards so far have paid me £170 in Nectar Points this year so that's really good why surveys is another good one they have the 50 pound cash out minimum but i've cashed out twice this year from them you might go for ages where you don't see any surveys from them then suddenly they're giving you four or five a week and they can pay anything between one and five pounds the surveys aren't that long and it's a really nice easy to use app and they also have a website as well YouGov is another one and that's the um, the standard kind of YouGov polls and things like that. Again, that's also cashed out twice this year from me. Um, and again, they cash out at £50 minimums. Atapol is quite a good one. Lots of, is a constant turnover of surveys with that one. You can get really short, quick surveys for a few pence. You can get bigger ones that pay maybe £1.50. And again, it depends on what you get screened out with really. Um, branded surveys is quite good not as good as it used to be but it's still hanging in there as one of the highest payers Ipsos is pretty good Prime Opinion is a new one I've been using this year and that's holding its own again I've seen a bit of a downtick in the number of surveys that I'm qualifying for 
but that might just be because of me. Swag bucks, not a massive fan of swag bucks, but it can pay out quite well. Crowdology is another one. Um, Nectar Canvas, that is also the Nectar Points, the other one. This is the, the site that's linked to the actual Sainsbury's Nectar. And that's kind of hanging in there. I've made less than 50 this year, but combined with e-rewards, I've made over £200 worth of Nectar Points this year, which, you know, that's more than I spend on food normally. Um, Your View was a great one. That's a closed site for me now because the app doesn't work on my phone anymore. Views Bank is quite a good one. Takes a while to cash out, but will cash out at £10. Cumi, again, that's on the slide. The quality of the surveys isn't as good as it used to be. Influence um, takes a long time to cash out on, but they do interesting things like once a week they'll, they'll ask you to record a video of what have you bought this week. And they cash out really fast in terms of you get your survey approved really quickly. But again, it's a um, it's a ten pound cash out. Your say pays takes twenty pounds. That takes a while to cash out on. It doesn't produce that many surveys, but they are quite interesting. They're a bit more different. Shopix is quite a good one. Shopix is where you take photographs of your shopping receipts, upload them to the site. You earn points. And then when you hit a certain amount, you can cash out. I quite like that one because it's really low level work. You literally just go use the app. You take a photo of your receipt, upload it to the site, and then it'll give you points. Um, it'll give you points for surveys uh, for re receipts that you upload within seven days. And it'll give you a bonus set of points if you do it the same day. So you've got to remember to do it. But that's, you know, for the amount of effort, it's worth it. TV viewers is another one. Very few come through on that, but they can be quite interesting. I did one where I had to video me, um, well, it wasn't videoing me, but my, using my TV screen, videoing my TV screen as I looked through the, the, um, the menu for a week on a particular TV channel and then commented on what I saw advertised there in terms of programmes. That was quite an interesting one, and I like getting the interesting stuff every so often. Mobrog used to be a good payer. I haven't had any surveys from them in months, so I think I'm going to ditch that one. Mingle, again, is quite a slow payer, uh, but it doesn't give you that many surveys. And then there are some others further down, which I don't tend to go into very often. One or two of them have... Um, closed so uh, cash walk has closed that used to pay you for the number of steps that you did and you'd cash out at a certain amount they kept increasing the cashing out amount till it was so high you just couldn't walk enough steps uh, potlock doesn't offer many but when it does it's like two pound surveys that's quite a good one bulb share as i say i can't use uh, bauer is something that i used to use for uploading um, barcodes of products and that was just ridiculously boring and uninteresting askable as well so that's my range of survey sites that are currently earning me income at the moment as I say up to now I've earned about 1400 this year and we still have you know two and a half months of the year left to go so I'm hoping if I can get it to about 1600 that will be good for this year and again as I say it's a combination of reasons why I've earned less this year than last year. I'm not spending as much time. I'm being a bit more picky about the surveys I do. Some of the sites that were really good payers, I can't use on my phone anymore. So once I get a new phone, hopefully next year will be better. And I'm planning to do that at some point next year. But I hope that's interesting. Um, as I say, I've put all the names of the sites there. If you go into wherever you get your apps, like Google Play or whatever, um, they're quite easy to find. Otherwise, if you go, if you type them into Google search or whatever and find them on the internet on their websites, they will often have the, um, the button for joining via Google Play or whatever else or Apple, whatever it is that you use. So that's a really um, easy way to earn extra pocket money. And if you can do what I did last year, which is earn 2000 a year just taking surveys, you know, it might be that you have really long commutes to work every day sit there and monetize the time it might be that you're standing in a queue for 20 minutes waiting for something do a couple of surveys or like me you know when you've parked your backside on the sofa for the evening and there's not much on telly I mean I'm not really good at just watching tv I've always got to be doing something else 
Um, so I just sit with my phone and just do surveys all evening and that works for me and you know I've just made an extra few quid. This all tips the balance on income and if just taking surveys all year is what helps to pay for your winter fuel bill or your putting petrol in the car or your food bill or whatever it else is you need or maybe you just take all that survey money and you stash it up for something that you know you're going to need in six months like a new phone or a new laptop or a new pair of trainers whatever it is then that could be a really good way for you to just earn the extra money that tips the balance and helps to keep you out of debt so i hope that's interesting do add questions below um, always happy to help if I can. If you have any recommendations, you might see that I've missed out a few that you use. Um, there are, I've tried lots and lots of survey sites over, over the last few years. Some I don't bother with. Um, some of them I just don't like the format of. Some of them are really hard to do. A lot of them, as I say, I get screened out of. I'm not a high income person. Uh, I work for myself. Um, I don't earn a particularly big amount of money, I don't go on holiday abroad, I don't have an electric car, I don't have a smart meter, all those things which does tend to screen me out. But you need to test the site, so I test them all out and give them a chance and then just see what happens. So I hope you found that useful, um, if you need an extra time of income this could be the way to go for you and get you out of a hole. So I hope that's helpful. Comment uh, below and I will try and answer questions if there's anything you're not sure about. So um, thanks for watching and uh, I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye!